This file the first on the bed of basic ingredients and some spices. And voila, some chores dinner. How easy can that be? You're watching the cooking series. Let's join Romilo at his small kitchen. Warm greetings, Yukuya and Uncle here. <laughs> As you might have noticed, I don't sound well, but we have to cook. I've had a chicken soup the entire week for healing and soothing uh, recipe. But I need and I crave for something new this evening. I'm not yet feeling well, but I have to cook. I'll be cooking ginataang tilapia or tilapia in coconut cream. Let us show our ingredients. I have here approximately uh, three fourths of a kilo of tilapia fillet. Tilapia fillet. And the usual, I forget the ginger. <laughs> ginger, uh, some garlic, and one onion to give that acidic taste to uh, marry the creamy uh, flavor. We need something acidic. I'll be using uh, tomato here. Three would be, uh, I think, more than enough. We are stir frying this. It's a, it's a departure from what we've been used to. I'll be using, of course, cooking oil, salt, and pepper. Very simple. Let's start the preparation. This will be a quick shoot. We'll be doing shortcuts. As you've noticed, I'm not even. I'm not even peeling the ginger. That will be enough. This is a cake server, but also serve as a garlic uh, crusher. See? Shortcuts. Mm, shortcuts. Okay, enough. But we're gonna stir fry. It's really difficult. <laughs> As an option, we'll be adding this uh, chili powder. I don't have chilies. Cream always calls for fire. Or fire always calls for cream. They make a good uh, combination. Let's uh, it's stir fry now. I'll be putting all of them together. Our objective here is just to infuse the oil with with the flavors. Very minimal, even. Some don't do this, they just put all, together, all the ingredients together and coconut milk. But stir frying obviously gives a richer flavor. I'm wearing two layers of, of sweater this one and this one. <laughs> and look at my socks. <laughs> Real culinary, almost a child of one brand. Pepper there, lemon, what else? Salt. <laughs> I'm really feeling cold, but I've got to cook. 
This should be fun. Yeah. This is horse fun for Romina. The tomatoes now. I'm gonna turn this off now and we'll put in all the arrange of fish. This is a fish. This is, as I've said, fish fillet. It's an option. This was what this is what was available at the supermarket. So, it's what my cameraman bought, which is uh, good for this recipe. The plan was to make uh, <clears throat> steam fish, but this I'm, I still doubt if this is good for steaming. Let's add this all together. Oh, I, m I made a mistake. I should have added the <laughs> coconut, the coconut milk first. I like my best, but this will still taste good. I'm sure. I'm sure. Salt, yeah, I don't even have, I even ran out of pepper. What's happened to my kitchen? Fortunately, I have here uh, ground pepper, which will equally be good. And let's add the, oh wait. Some pepper. Chili. Chili pepper, yeah. Yeah. And the coconut milk. Let's boil it. To our, to our viewers in Brazil, this would be called pesca con nata. But for this case, it's not nata, it's nata de coco. <laughs> it's not the cooking uh, cream. This should be good. So let's just boil that. Yeah? Let's leave that. Let's give it around 15 minutes and it will be good. See you later. It's now uh, getting cold. It's early October and I brought in my calamansi. Look, it has uh, one uh, almost mature fruit there. And I'm scouring. I also brought in my chili, <laughs> my poor chilies. It's beginning to turn yellow, but there's still one fruit here, which I'm afraid will not mature. Yeah, I might as well harvest it now. <laughs> the last harvest of the season, look. <laughs> and my chili, poor chili. It's beginning to overwinter. It will, it's brought indoors to spend, oh, spend the winter because it will die outside. Yeah, let's add this uh, single chili. <laughs> Look, it's already our tilapia or tilapia ginatang tilapia to be exact okay. 
And since this is Pinoy food, it's eaten with white rice. And as a recipe, tilapia, ginataang tilapia. Despite my condition, I was able to cook it. Try it at home. It's really delicious. If you like to watch more of our videos, recipes from the homeland, and easily adaptable recipes from other countries, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and to share. Thank you for watching. Until next time, do your segmenting.